Welcome back to Afternoon Break. A Savannah native just hit a major milestone celebrating 40 years of teaching music in June. A lifelong passion turned into a job more incredible than his wildest dreams. But as I found out when I caught up with him recently, what he's been teaching his students these past four decades is about much more than just music. When I was about four years old, I started playing by ear. And so when I would hear songs on television, commercials, jingles, or even at church, I would come home and try to emulate what I heard on the piano. For Errol Roach, there was really never another path but music. I'm gonna just do this one. When I was sitting in 10th grade, fifth period science class, it came to me just as plain as day, major in music. And that's exactly what he would do, attending what is now Savannah State University, where just a year in, at age 19, he started passing down his love of music through lessons out of his parents' Carver Village home. They invested in a brand new piano, and for African Americans, you know, lower middle class, that was a big thing. And that wouldn't be the last time they invested in their son's dream. They helped me to find a place to centralize the lessons. So they purchased my furniture, my office furniture and all of that. So they got me started. So if it were not for Mr. and Mrs. Roach, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. What he's been doing is the same thing he's been doing for the past 40 years, teaching music. An achievement he was recognized for in June through a proclamation from Savannah Mayor Van Johnson. And someone was here the other day and they were saying, well, how did you feel when people were saying all these things about you? I'm like, it kind of just really went over my head because I know that it's because of God I'm doing it. And it's not about me. It's about the gift that brings glory to God and that's a blessing to others. A blessing he has now been sharing with others for four decades. Well, I have some students, you know, who have gone on to be producers and running their own music studios in Atlanta and different places around the country. And as much as he's given music over the years, music has also given him quite a bit in return. I met my wife because of music. She was a choir director and I started playing for the choir. <laughs> so we've been making music together ever since. And he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. I have been doing this a long time and the passion is still there. I still want to do it 40 more years if God allows me to live because this is where my heart is. His heart, like his piano, tuned to play a song that reverberates in the souls of all who listen. And each of us, like a single note that when put together can create something truly beautiful. The slogan for uh, the Sound of Joy School of Music is for a world of harmony. And so my prayer and my hope is that my students will pass on this gift of music that will bring unity and harmony all over the world.